Hi kids, Miss Darcy here. I am outside today. Um, I hope that you all have been doing okay being off of school. I hope that you have been getting to get some fresh air and um, getting to spend lots of quality time with your families. Before we get into today's lesson, let's go ahead and pray together. If you can fold your hands and close your eyes, you know Miss Darcy does this before anything else. So let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you that you are good. No matter what happens in our lives, Help us to know that we can always trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So today I want to talk to you about um, Peter. He was someone in the Bible. If you remember, he was a disciple of Jesus. Now what's a disciple? Go ahead and tell your moms and dads. They were people that got to walk with Jesus, talk with Jesus. They were hit some of his very, very close followers. Now, these disciples, there was 12 of them with Jesus when he was here on earth. And um, one of the disciples was Peter. Peter knew Jesus so well. He saw him all the time. He knew Jesus, what he would do every day. He, he knew how Jesus talked. He, he knew the way that Jesus lived. He also was there when Jesus died on the cross. He was there when Jesus rose from the dead. And he was one of the very first people to start the church, the Christian church as we know it today. And um, Peter had such a huge love in his heart for God. He was not a perfect person. If you read the Bible, he was definitely not a perfect person, but he was someone who decided to live his whole life for Jesus. Now, as the church was getting started, Peter had a huge role to play in all of that, but there was also lots of hard things going on around him. The church, the Christians, the people that followed Jesus, they were actually getting persecuted now that is a big word and kind of a hard word, but what that word means is that they were experiencing a lot of, of difficult things. Maybe people would say mean things to them. Maybe they would even hurt them. And some people would even get put in prison. Peter was one of those people that got put in prison, not because he did something horribly wrong, but because he loved Jesus so much and told people about Jesus so much that he actually got put in prison because of that. But you know what? God did amazing miracles in Peter's life. Peter got to see Jesus heal people. He got to be a part of seeing people get healed when he was praying. He got to experience even miraculously getting out of jail. So many amazing things. And he wrote some letters to the early church. And in one of those letters, there's a really cool verse that I want to tell you about today. But as I tell you about the verse, I want to show you something too. So come with me. All right. We are now down by a little teeny tiny creek. I don't know if you can see it from there. Can you see it? There you go. And this is a place that my kids love to come. So I'm going to show you something as I read this verse about Peter. Now Peter was encouraging those early Christians that were having lots of hard things happening around them. And this is what he says. He says this, cast all your anxiety or cares upon him because he cares for you. God cares for us so much. He says he wants us to give him all of our cares and all of the hard things that are happening in our lives. Now I had help from somebody to fill up this great big bag with all kinds of rocks. Do you see that? And I think that these rocks are a lot like our anxieties or our fears. Now this bag, even though it looks tiny, it is super heavy. Super, super heavy because it's so full of rocks. And if I had to carry around this bag everywhere that I went, 
it would be very hard for me to do it. See how big some of these rocks are? They're so big. But you know what? God tells us this, to cast our anxiety or our fears upon him. Now, it's not like when you go fishing and you throw out a line and then you reel it back in because that's a different kind of casting. That's a kind of casting where you throw something away or throw something out, but then you take it back again. You reel it in to get the fish. But this kind of casting that Peter's talking about is very, very different. It's throwing something away and not picking it up again. Now what my kids like to do at the park, I don't know about you guys, but they love to throw rocks into creeks, into rivers. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about how these rocks are like our fears, things that we're afraid of. So maybe you're afraid right now about getting sick. We're afraid about all the people that are getting sick. But when we pray and give our fear to God, it's like this. Throw it away and don't take it back again. Now, maybe this fear is something different. Maybe you feel afraid because you're not seeing your friends so much anymore. And you're afraid, will they still be my friend? Will I still get to, to play with them later on? Well, you know what? We have to pray and give that fear to God. Maybe moms and dads are fighting sometimes and that makes you feel nervous or afraid. But you know what? We need to pray and give that fear to God. Whatever fears you have, God wants us to cast our fears upon him. Just like Peter told the early church to give all of their fears to God. And the way that we can give God our fears is by praying, praying about everything. I give it to you, God. My fear, all my fear, I give it to you. Give it to you. I give you my worries. What's gonna happen to our families? You know what? God is in control. God is so much bigger than me. I don't have to carry these heavy loads, but God wants to carry it for us. God is good and he is loving and he is with us no matter what. So cast all your cares upon him. First Peter 5, 7. Cast all your anxiety, all your, all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your love. Teach us every day to give you our fears. We love you, Jesus. Amen. All right. And I know that sometimes we still may feel anxious. I know that still sometimes we may have hard things happen, but continue to pray. Continue to give everything to God and know that he is bigger. He's so much bigger than anything. I hope that some of you were able to be lights this last week. Write some encouragement notes or do different things to be lights to people. How about this week? Let's keep on doing that. Keep on shining for Jesus and keep on being a light. Okay, bye.